Hey guys, me again. If you guys know, this is my HP C 17-inch CN0076NR laptop that I got from Christmas in 2022. Now, the reason why I upgraded to this from the Acer was because, well, the Acer um, would not upgrade to Windows 11, which I wish it did because the processor was an Intel Core i7. The RAM it could take was 64 gigs. It had a disk drive. It had a lot of benefits and stuff it could have used, but Microsoft said, nope, nuh -uh. Anyway, this thing has become an issue because like HP laptops, the hinge will wear out. And well, I don't know if you can see, but opening and closing this, yeah. Let me show you all the sides here. Well, there's nothing wrong with this side. This is where the USB, HDMI, USB-C, headphone, microphone. And on this side, here's where the issue is. There's a crack right there. I even super glued it, the barrel jack. Well, it hasn't gotten to the point. Well, wait. This part keeps popping off. And what recently happened is the little bezel that's supposed to hold the uh, screen in place let me show you. This started popping off and I tried ordering a replacement one for it and I ordered the wrong one and when I disassembled it and reassembled it, the most unfortunate thing happened. The uh, solid state drive that was attached to the board, I had it attached and uh, for whatever reason this thing would not detect it. The thing was in the slot and still said, sorry, not reading anything. <sighs> And let me tell you, this HP, the uh, the fact that it can take 64 gigabytes of RAM is amazing. But the huge issue with this laptop is is the stupid Intel processor in here. It's not the worst processor out on the market, but the uh, Pentium Silver is uh, not ideal. And I will be posting the actual chip information on screen as you can see when I edit this video and when I finish posting it all together and you watch this whole video it will give you an idea of what this laptop can do and let me tell you if you can find one with a higher end processor like a Core i7 or i5 or even an AMD Ryzen processor you'll have better luck with those than with this Pentium Silver and that other HP that I probably showed on video, yeah, that had an AMD processor, but apparently it took less RAM and, well, had no Bluetooth, so apparently, yeah, this thing is, this thing is unfortunately pretty much become a handful. And when I tried streaming the game on my other account with this laptop, I had to apologize in the description and the comments saying it was laggish because this Pentium silver is not ideal for streaming or playing certain games. In fact, I tried playing on Steam. I played The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog and the two Sonic Adventure games, and this thing is slow as molasses on certain things. I had trouble steering Sonic, and well, it's pretty much time to say goodbye to this HP laptop. So let's go ahead and show you what I'm going to be replacing this laptop with now. Enter the Asus VivoBook 15 inch with a 15.6 inch display, AMD Ryzen 5 4600 H CPU with AMD Radeon GPU, 8 gigs of RAM soldered onto the board. You can add more RAM to it. Some articles say it will only take a maximum of, let's see, 16 plus 8, uh, 24, but it could take a 32. I do have a spare 32 that I'll take from the HP when I go ahead and do it off camera. And I'll put in the uh, subtitles and let you know if it does or does not work. But let me show you the box around it so you get an idea of what you get with it. This is the normal VivoBook 15, not the VivoBook Pro. I almost got that, but I've heard some people had issues with that. So let me show you around the box. Yes, the seal has been broken because the box that came in the shipping was somewhat uh, damaged and I had to make sure everything was okay. I didn't turn it on. I did, however, 
take a look and make sure if everything is okay. Here's the information right here. It's the it has eight gigs of RAM, a 256 gigabyte solid state drive with Windows 11 Home, but that's not going to have 256 gigs drive space anymore because recently, well, I'll show you a little later in the video. Let me show you the other side. This is now or wow the world. The Asus logo here on the back. It's the uh, battery. <laughs> you have the uh, fragile. The rain symbol, the up something, the seven lines, I don't know what those mean. But if you want information, their number is 1703-527-3887 for international. The ACES uh, sticker or seal is broken for a reason because I had to check and make sure if this is okay or not. And on the bottom is the barcode, which you don't need to see. But I will open it and show you what's in the box. So let's go ahead and, oh, and it has a nice handle too, so that's real convenient. Let's go ahead and open the box. It's nicely presented in this like total box where you open up. The HP that I had had a little, you had a cut open, but this one has a nice presentation. I mean, this is something that Asus did right, something that HP did wrong. Healy Packer needs to take notes. Under here you have the laptop. And underneath the laptop you have the warranty book and other information. The charger is here. I live in the United States, so I'll show you the charger in just a moment. Actually, I'll show it to you right now. This is the uh, charger that comes with the system. Now, in some countries, the Asus uh, AC adapter is, uh, well, look at this. <laughs> One thing I like about this laptop is some of the Asus laptops, this plug would be on the uh, AC adapter, but what I like about this laptop is it doesn't have that. I'm not going to unravel this just yet, but I will tell you so far, I like this AC adapter. It's a 90 watt uh, AC adapter. It says model ADP90LEB, and it's got an output of 19 watts and 4.74 amps, 90 watts. This is what the AC adapter looks like. And yes, you can use this overseas if you want, because it says 100 to 240 volts. It works with Palin NTSC, which is very nice. I'm actually glad it came with this style AC adapter and not the uh, one with the where you have to stick the whole thing in the wall. I would have bought this variation to try to. Well, have this style for my laptop, but since it came with it, that's one thing I like. Now, let's go ahead and get the, uh, we'll, we'll move the laptop to the side. Let's look at the paperwork real quick. It comes with uh, three uh, things. It comes with your uh, thank you registration, which I'm not going to show you because it has information that I would like to use for this because unlike HP at least Asus actually cares about their products HP if you have it out of warranty they'll say sorry can't do anything about it this is the warranty card which if you've seen some other um, oh and the nice thing is the serial on the back is the same as the laptop that's real convenient and this is the user guide that tells you how to hook up stuff and <laughs> What's funny about the uh, AC adapter in the picture is the uh, older cell with the uh, whole thing going to the wall. That's funny. It's got your port power button and it has a fingerprint sensor which is also very nice. So, let's go ahead and put these back in the box because I am going to need this information when I uh, boot this up later in the video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the laptop itself. Comes in a nice little protective thing. That's really nice. Anyway, here it is, the Vivo book. Let me show you these sides. You got the USB 2.0 port here. You got headphone, microphone, a USB-C, two USB 3.0s, HDMI, power jack, 
This is the bottom. This has a fan unlike the HP. This is the model number. This is the M1502L or I. But Anyway, let's open it up and I'll show you what the inside looks like. This is what it looks like. And what's cool about it is you can actually do a full 180 degrees on here. See? That's pretty cool. Can't do that with the HP. Oh, don't worry about the plastic creaking. That's just the uh, casing getting back together. Nice little enable disable webcam thing, fingerprint sensor, the keyboard, it's also backlit too, which is really nice. So, well, that's what's to be expected. It also has a long travel, 1.4 millimeter key travel, the Asus noise cancelling audio clear for speech, fast and stable Asus Wi-Fi master, uh, and other features. Sonic Master. Oh, and one thing I like about this more than the uh, HP. On the HP, the power button was between the print scroll and, well, right after the F12 and delete keys. But on this, it's on the far right. That is the perfect location. I know some people hate the uh, having the uh, power button on the keyboard, but if it has to be anywhere on the keyboard, the far right is the best option or above it on the top right or the top left just as long as it's not on the side like on the Lenovo Yoga because those the power button breaks on those so anyway that gives you an idea of the vivo book and now time for me to boot up the system so I'll do a jump cut so you don't have to see through the all the bric-a-brac stuff so let's get started with uh, firing up